co-founder and CEO of Web Summit, Paddy Cosgrave. Good morning. Good morning. So who who who's here last night? Many people here last. That was in, what an incredible opening night. That was that was just wonderful. Who who went out to Night Summit last night? Not many of those that went out made it here this morning. It's not not surprising. Do we have many Portuguese here this morning? I've 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 a, I've a feeling we've very few Brazilians here. Any Brazilians here? That's not bad, I'm surprised. That's, that's a good turnout this early uh, in the morning. I hope people had a fantastic, fantastic opening night. We've got an amazing day ahead of us, fantastic speakers. Up here in a moment, we'll have the co-founder of Slack. And then throughout the day, we have fantastic speaker after fantastic speaker finishing uh, with the president of Samsung on here at about 4 p.m. Right across the venue, there are about 20 stages stretching over a kilometer, uh, running simultaneously with deep dives on every imaginable topic. So if you're wondering what you should go to, don't hesitate. Picking up your phone, opening the app, and just take a look at talks recommended from me. Those are specifically tailored to each of you based on your interests and who you are and what you've been doing in the app. And it's a powerful and quick cheat uh, to find some of the most interesting uh, talks. You can also click on the People tab on the mobile app, and you can see the most trending uh, speakers, which is also a great way of giving, your, giving yourself a great idea uh, of some of the interesting talks to go to. Last night, we did something that's become a little bit of a tradition uh, at Web Summit. Web Summit is ultimately, of course, a lot to do with many of the incredible speakers. But Web Summit is also about all of you. Spread across this room right now and all across the campus are incredible entrepreneurs. It's the world's largest gathering of entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial focused companies and cities and countries. And people come to Web Summit not just to hear from incredible speakers, but to meet each other uh, as well. And I'm sure all around you, there are incredible people. You might, and I'm sure many of you are, some of those incredible entrepreneurs that have joined us from hundreds of countries and cities around the world. So what we like to do on the opening night and on the opening morning is I'm going to get everybody to stand up in a moment, and I want you to introduce yourself to just three people around you. You'll be amazed at the people you meet. So let's all stand up, and we'll start introducing ourselves. Here we go. Fantastic. So when you're finished introducing yourself, and this is always the hard part, we'll begin to sit back down again. Great. So I'd encourage all of you, any opportunity you get to just say hello to somebody, say hello. Everybody is here from all over the world to meet other people. And you shouldn't be shy or be nervous. It's, it's an intimidating atmosphere to be together and with such a huge volume of people, so many people doing so many incredible things from all over the world. But really, you just shouldn't hesitate introducing yourself to anybody. You, you never know who you're going to meet alongside you, who you're going to meet on the Metro this evening, or who you're going to meet at Night Summit tonight. 
for those of you for whom this is your first web so much, put up your hands if this is your first web so much. It's a lot of people. I would strongly encourage you to go to Night Summit. Web Summit isn't just a kind of nine to five conference. There's a second part to it, and that's Night Summit, which takes place really from roughly 6 p.m. the whole way through until 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 a.m., however long you last. There are, there are parties and events that we've organized, and there are hundreds more organized around the particular area of the city that we've designated for Night Summit. And it's a fantastic way to connect with communities or maybe people from your country. I've just met some folks from Malaysia that are here, uh, and I'm sure the Malaysians are throwing a party tonight uh, or maybe uh, tomorrow night or the night after. So go and discover Night Summit, and also don't forget that using the app is probably the most powerful way to find people that can be relevant to you. If you click on the People tab on the bottom of the mobile app, we'll recommend people to you, and at the same time, we're recommending each of you to specific groups of people uh, across the event. People will spend on average about an hour a day using the app during Web Summit to plan, to organize, to connect and message uh, with fellow attendees uh, and speakers. So don't hesitate. So now for our first speaker. How all of us communicate online has been constantly redefined over the last two decades. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, WeChat, these are just some of the products that have made a profound impact on all of us on our everyday lives. But when it comes to communication in our places of work, in our offices, truly revolutionary communication products and platforms have been very, very rare. Over the last two decades, almost nothing has changed. It's all been email, email, email. That is, until Slack. Slack, more than any other product in the world, is redefining how we communicate in our workplaces and even beyond. It's a huge privilege to welcome to the stage in conversation with the wonderful Mamoon Hamid of Kleiner Perkins, Slack co-founder, Cal Henderson. <laughs> 